Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It is your boy KP here. I know I've been gone for a while, but today I'm back and I'm going to be covering the ultimate vertigo guide for 2019 competitive CS. We're going to be covering nades, smokes, flashes, everything you need to know on this map in 2019. So stay tuned. Let's get right into the video. Alright guys, I know I've been gone for a while. I was dealing with some team stuff and also finishing up college. But I'm going to be back permanently. Uploads will be every Wednesday and every Sunday. So if you guys are hyped for that, if you're ready for that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what kind of content you guys are ready to see. But anyways, let's get right into the video. So getting right into it, we're going to start off with smokes. Everything will be timestamped in the description of the video if you just want to jump to a specific nade or smoke that you need to know. Um, another thing you should know is that these nades were thrown on a 128 tick server. However, most of them should work for both 128 tick and 64 tick servers. So starting off with smokes, from T-Spawn, there's four smokes that'll help you execute the B bomb site. First up in the wall of smokes for B, you're going to want to wedge yourself in between this railing and this blue bin and you're going to want to line yourself up in this middle beam to the bottom of the window panes make sure the window and glass is broken so that way your smoke does not get stuck so you line up here i'll zoom in if you need it and this is going to require a jump throw bind so make sure you have a jump throw bind set up and ready to go and all you got to do is hit your jump throw bind and this is going to smoke off the left side of the air conditioning units on the b-bomb site the second smoke you should know for B from T-Spawn is going to smoke off the other side of the air conditioning unit. You simply want to jump up on these sandbags and put your crosshair in between where the colors meet. Next, turn around, stand up, and put your crosshair on the right side and a little bit lower than this thick line on the vent unit. Again, this is going to be a jump throw bind, so make sure you have a jump throw ready to go. Simply click the jump throw and you shall see that the smoke lands on the right side of the air conditioning unit. For the final smoke from T-Spawn to B-Site, you're going to want to come over to these battery symbols, go to the bottom left corner battery symbol and line yourself up on the top of it, then simply stand up and look up to this wall uh, that is missing wall pieces. There should be one, two, three, four, five lines. Just line yourself up on the middle line at the top where it meets the ceiling. I'll zoom in on that so you guys can see the lineup and again this is another jump throw bind. Simply hit your jump throw, make sure the window glass is broken, and that will land on the back side of sight, creating a wall. So, for example, if you throw all three of these smokes from spawn, you will get a wall that looks something like this. This will completely block off any counter terrorists playing on the other side of them, and it should allow you to execute the B-bomb site from T-spawn. The fourth and final smoke from T-Spawn to B-Site is the setup smoke, and for that you're going to want to come on the grand staircase and place yourself just in the middle of the second railing. Uh, make sure you are on the far on the left side, and line yourself up, again make sure the windows are broken on this right bar where the, where the light hits the shadows, you can kind of see that part, you just want to place your crosshair on the bar a little bit to the right. And this is just a simple left click throw. And what that is going to do is it's going to block off the front of B site and it's going to allow you to set up. So for example, if you want to come here and you want to have a slower round, you just want to slowly execute B, see what's up. Uh, this will make sure that no CTs can peek you or push down the staircase as they'll have to push through a smoke to try and peek you. So this is just the setup smoke for B site. Next, you're going to want to know nades from T-spawn towards A. First off, the most important one is going to be back here, again towards the battery symbols. You just want to put yourself where the shadow meets the light, crouch down, make sure you find this crack in the ground, stand up, and again this is going to require another jump throw bind where the silver beam is and the corner of where the window dome starts. Make sure the glass is broken, so corner of the window dome down to the silver beam, and this is a jump throw. And what this is going to do is it's going to smoke off the back right side of a site incredibly fast. Um, it's such a good smoke if you want to do A rushes or A executes right off the bat. The second smoke you need to know from T-Spawn to A site is going to combo with that right side smoke we just threw. You're going to want to find this second and third railing on the back side of the staircase and place yourself in between them like shown. Stay crouched and find the corner of this building and go down to this yellow wire where the dark spot is. Corner of the building, down to the yellow wire, 
and simply stay crouched, make sure the windows are broken, and press your jump throw key. What this is going to do is this will smoke off the jump up position on back of A site from T spawn. So if you wanted to go fast A and we, you just threw the smoke that I just showed, you can also throw this one and it'll smoke off the jump up position. So no CTs will be able to see you because this will also be smoked as well. So again, no CTs will be able to see you from the jump up position, completely nullifying that spot that everybody hates. The third smoke for a fast A execute from T spawn is going to be on the grand staircase in between the middle of the second railing. So as you can see, first, second, third railing again, come to the middle bar on the second railing and find this wooden part of the building. I'm gonna zoom in on that with an off right now so you guys can see that. As you can see, railing, 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 and then there's this wooden part of the building. Simply place your crosshair on the wooden part and left click throw. What this is going to do is this is going to smoke off the catwalk side as best as possible. Uh, you will see there is a couple gaps on the right and left side. However, this was the best smoke I could find fast from T-Spawn. So just be aware if you're going fast, there's gonna be a gap here and a gap on the barrel side of it. However, anyone standing here should be very easy to kill. The fourth and final smoke you need to know from T-Spawn towards A site is going to be the setup smoke if you want to set up a default or just do a slow play. Uh, line up in between the second and third railing on the grand staircase. Find this step towards the bottom. Make sure you're lined up. Make sure the windows are broken. Stand up and find where these crane lines meet the middle beam. So where these uh, lines of the crane come off and meet the middle beam, you just want to place your crosshair right there and left click throw. And this is going to smoke off the gap in between a site and it's going to allow you to set up a default and make sure if you come up here as a terrorist, no counter terrorist can see you from that position. So just so you are aware, even if counter terrorists jump up on default, they cannot see you from that position. So it's a great smoke just to set up a default and figure out a game plan and get some control of the ramp spot. Next, we're gonna go over smokes for a site from the scaffolding position. First, you're gonna wanna line yourself up in between this beam and the scaffolding, like so. Turn around and find this ring that is closest to the crane. It is also, if you count the one, two, three, four, fifth ring over, but I just like to say it's the ring closest to the crane. Put your crosshair on it and left click throw. And that's going to perfectly smoke off the catwalk position. As you can see, the smoke is much better than the previous one. There is no gaps on either side of it. However, be aware that the counter terrorists could boost in this position. And they could see you if you're a crossing site, if they are boosted. However, if it is a single player there, that smoke will perfectly block them off. To smoke off the right side of a site from the scaffolding, you want to find this crack next to the little ramp. Line yourself up against the wall and also as far down as you can go turn around and stand up and find the second railing on the corner of this building so as you can see there's one two three you just want to go to the right part of the second railing place your crosshair there and this is a simple left click throw that's going to smoke off the right side of a site from the scaffolding position to smoke off the jump up position from scaffolding you're going to want to come under the mini ramp and find this big piece of square cardboard. You want to find the back corner of it and put your crosshair as far down as possible. Next, stand up and find the corner of the building and the crane. You want to put your crosshair in between the middle of the corner of the building and the crane and left click throw. This will bounce and smoke off the jump up position perfectly, blocking any CT from playing this angle. Finally, for terrorists, we're going to go over smokes from the B stairs position. For the first one and the easiest one, you're going to want to find this rustic part of the staircase on the front side. Line yourself up with it and simply turn around and place your crosshair right here in the corner where these beams meet. This is going to smoke off the mid window uh, where counter terrorists can peek you from mid. The second smoke for B site is going to need you to line up against these paint lines on this wall. As you can see, there's one, two, and three paint lines. Go to this third paint line and line yourself up in the middle of it. Turn around and you will see this big cloud in the sky. Come to the bottom part of the cloud where there's this triangle looking um, formation in the cloud, maybe an arrow, I guess you could call it. And place your crosshair on the bottom left corner of the cloud. 
and simply left click throw. This is going to smoke off the left side air conditioning unit, just like the one from T-Spawn, however this one's thrown from the staircase. For the third smoke for B site from the stairs position, it's going to smoke off the back of site to complete that wall. Simply come into this corner, find the middle of these pallets where the top pallet and the bottom pallets meet or basically where the cone is and look to the left and go to the middle of this beam. So from here to the middle of this beam and jump through. And what that's going to do is it's going to bounce off and smoke the back left of site. For the final smoke on to B from outside on the B stairs, you're going to want to place yourself in between this barrel and the staircase, find this beam, and place your crosshair just above on the right side of this cloud uh, up from the beam. I'll zoom in if you need to see that, but this is just a simple left click throw. And what that's going to do is bounce off the top beam here on B site and smoke off the right side air conditioning unit. So again, the same smokes we threw from T-Spawn, just from outside on the stairs position. The only other two smokes you need to know as a terrorist on this map are for splits. Example, if you want to go mid to B, or if you want to go mid to A, there's two smokes you should know to block off the other side accordingly. So first, if you want to go mid to B and enter CT spawn, you should probably block off this entryway so that CTs can't shoot you from here and from here. So to do that, you're going to want to come and put yourself in this corner, assuming you have control of the sandbag's position, you already cleared this spot, put yourself in this corner, um, place your crosshair on the uh, middle right side of these pallets, and you're simply going to want to run just a little bit and hit your jump throw bind. So run, jump throw. You can do this without a jump throw bind, however I prefer to use it still so that it's perfect, but it's just a simple run, jump throw, and that'll block off the uh, CT to uh, B split. So now CTs can't see you from this position and they're going to have to go around into the doorway, which is exactly what you want because you're going to be splitting mid to B, so you can just split like this. So to smoke off the other side, which is the doorway, and go mid to A instead of mid to B, again, make sure you have control of this mid position so that you do not get shot while doing this. Turn around and you'll find these rods with three rings on them. Go to the third ring, line yourself up like so, then look at the big uh, wooden box behind you. On the middle line of the box, go on the right side and place your crosshair just on the top of the box. So as you can see, I'll zoom in here, my crosshair is just touching the top of the box on the right side of the middle line. Now this is just a simple left click throw, and that smoke will bounce every single time and get wedged in the door. Whether the door is open or not, that smoke lands there 100% of the time, and this will allow you to split mid to A instead of mid to B. So all you have to do is make sure this is clear, throw that smoke, and boom, you're in. You can get directly into A from mid. Switching over to CT, there's only a few smokes you need to know, as most of the time you will just be retaking on this map. So basically I'm going to be showing uh, A retake smokes, mid smoke, and then B retake smokes. Getting right into it, there's two main retake smokes you need to know for the A bomb site. The first one, you wedge yourself in this corner of CT next to the pallets, look up at the building where the rod meets this little line that extends out. As you can see, there's this big metal rod and it meets this middle line. Place your crosshair right where those two meet. I'll zoom in if you need to see it. And this is simply a jump throw with a jump throw bind. So press your jump throw bind and that will land on the left side of a front A bomb site. And that's gonna allow you, comboed with the other smoke that I'll show just in a sec, it's gonna allow you to retake the bomb site. So for the second smoke of that retake, you're gonna wanna have a teammate come into this corner by the CT door position, come into this corner and find this little opening in the sky, this little gap in the sky. And where this line extends from the building, place your crosshair up and to the left just a tiny bit. Not too high, not too low, exactly right here. I'll zoom in if you need to see it. And this is a simple left click, left click throw. And as you can see, that's going to smoke off the right side of the front bomb site. So with those two smokes in combination, I'll throw the first one again just for you guys to see uh, what it looks like. So with both those smokes thrown, it's going to make the retake 10 times easier. This helps out so much in scrims and matches. Um, even if there's a tiny gap, you can work with it. If the bomb is planted here or here or here, it completely isolates the terrorists from uh, fighting off this retake. 
as you can see with both those down it's very hard for the terrorists to uh, fight you if you're going to defuse the bomb next up for controlling mid as a counter terrorist there's only one smoke you really need to know uh, wedge yourself into this corner next to the b sign and find the lasso on the wall simply go to the left panel and up to the top next to the lasso so lasso and then one over uh, on the panel place your crosshair on the top and this is just a simple walk throw smoke grenade this is going to smoke off the entirety of the mid opening and as you can see there's no gaps on either the right or the left side uh, this is going to allow you to get control of sandbags make sure no one's pushing through um, even get a little bit cheeky with it and play stuff like top pallets and just hold for any smoke pushes and get control of this area of mid. Finally, as a counter terrorist, if you are an A player needing to retake the B bomb site, find yourself in this corner of the big pole and the wall and line yourself up on these lines of the air conditioning unit. Um, I'll zoom in so you guys can see. It's simply this line of the air conditioning unit down to the bottom. And this is just a simple jump throw with a jump throw bind. And what that's going to do is smoke off the front of B bomb site, as shown, so any terrorist player cannot see you going for the retake. Now that we've gone over the most important smokes for both sides on Vertigo, we're going to be switching over to Molotovs because I believe that is the second most important piece of utility, specifically for this map. Uh, there's a lot of corners and angles that you need to be clearing, and Molotovs are great at doing that. Getting right into the Molotovs, there's a pretty hard Molotov for mid here, but it's so worth it if you end up landing it as it clears the entirety of sandbags and allows you to take mid with ease. Simply line yourself up on the back end of this railing at the top of the grand staircase, find this black dot on the wall, and move your crosshair to the left where this white paint mark exists. And this is going to be a run jump throw Molotov and you will release before you hit the wall. So, if I can do it here, it should look something like this. And that hit, so it's going to bounce off there and land behind the sandbags and mid. As you can see, completely clearing all of mid, as that is really the only angle you have to worry about. So if you hit that Molotov before you run out mid, anyone behind there is going to be burning and they're an easy frag for you. Moving over to the A-bomb site, the thing I see people die from the most is the enemy CT pushed at the sandbag's position. So to clear that, we're going to use a simple and effective Molotov to push him out. Come over to the smudge on the wall. As you can see, there's two smudges here. It really does not matter which one you go to. It's, it's not a specific lineup whatsoever. It's a general lineup. Anyone can do this. Works on 64 and 128 tick. Simply line up on the smudge, turn around, and find this dark line. Where the, uh, where the crane bricks are, move your crosshair a little bit out, and left click throw. And as you can see, that's going to go down and bank behind the sandbags into the corner, and it will push anyone out of the sandbags position. The entire time, as you can see from the enemy's perspective, they cannot shoot you because they can't see you. You're right there on the smudge, so they would have to swing this wide to shoot you. Also on the A-bomb site, if you are down a man or simply do not have an extra smoke to use on the jump up position, you can molly jump up instead from the same position you can smoke catwalk. So as before, I showed you on the smokes, find this beam and the scaffolding and wedge yourself into this corner. So again, the smoke for catwalk was from this position. So you can smoke catwalk and instantly move your crosshair up, find this square opening on the crane, Move your crosshair just a little bit to the left and left click throw. And that's going to Molotov all of the jump up position, not allowing a CT to play there. As you can see, it's burning all of that position so no one can shoot you from there. Moving over to the B-bomb site, a very common position that CTs love to play is behind this wall on the scaffolding. This spot gives them easy aim duels as terrorists execute the bomb site and it is very annoying to clear. To nullify that position, you can use this Molotov thrown from the barrel spot on the B staircase. Find these three dark lines on the wall and simply place your crosshair on the far left of the bottom line just a little bit below it. So one, two, three, and just a little bit below this left line. And this is another jump throw bind uh, with the Molotov. So throw that and as you can see it'll land on the back scaffolding either killing the CT with the Molotov or forcing him to swing out and take an aim duel on this far right while still burning. So switching over to CT, there's a couple of very important Molotovs that you need to know. The first one, just come through mid door and place yourself in the corner of this spool and the wall. 
put your crosshair on this metal beam and as you can see there's a tiny window that we're going to be aiming this Molotov through. Place your crosshair as shown on this beam and if thrown correctly the Molotov should land as shown. The second Molotov you'll need to know is very important for retaking the B bomb site, as this is a common position for T's to play in the post plant. So for this Molotov, you're going to want to come onto this netting, jump up top, move towards the higher part on top of this metal bar, and where these honeycomb metal, uh, I don't know how to describe that, the honeycomb bit uh, meets this metal side, put your crosshair right there, and it's going to be a jump throw with a jump throw bind. And that Molotov should land at the back of the scaffolding, forcing any T holding the bomb from post plant to uh, peek out. To stop a B rush as a CT with a Molotov, line up here on the scaffolding, turn around, and place your crosshair as shown. This is a simple left click Molotov, and it will land on the staircase, blocking any T's from rushing you on the B bomb site. As you can see, blocks off most of the whole staircase. Easy Molotov. Finally, towards the A bomb site, if you are smoked out as a CT and you need to molly the sandbags position, you can still do it from behind the smokes, or if you need to retake, simply come over to the 1 of the 51 on this wall, line yourself up like this, and find these smudges on the white wall. Place your crosshair just on the bottom left of this smudge, I'll zoom in if you guys need to see that, and left click throw. And as you can see, that's going to bank off the wall and perfectly molly out the sandbag so that any T holding for a post plant needs to move. Moving on to flashes, one thing you should know is Vertigo is a very open map and is super easy to flash from anywhere as a terrorist. So I'm just going to go over some basics and simple flashes for you guys to know. So starting off, if your teammates are rushing B and you want to make sure no counter terrorists push or go for an aggro op peak, some flashes to throw can either be thrown through this window of the building, which will land here, stopping any aggro peak. As you can see, if I peek, I'm full blind, or if I peek through window, I'm also full blind. Or, again, if you want to throw that setup smoke I showed from earlier, which was right here, you can also flash through the skylight like shown. And you can kind of lob these anywhere, not like that, just lob them anywhere through the skylight and they will pop over the B bomb site. Uh, stopping anyone from going aggro. As you can see, those are popping right there. Those are going to get me right here if I'm trying to go aggro, and it's probably going to make me not want to push that. Next up, if you're executing the B bomb site and need some flashes to be thrown for your teammates, some good flashes to throw are off the side of the building. There's no specific lineup needed at all. Just make sure they go far and to the left so that they don't blind your team. Anything off this side of the building, whether low or high, will completely blind en any uh, enemy counter terrorists. As you can see, those are popping here and here. So anywhere off the left side of the building away from your teammates is a good flash to throw because most of your teammates will be running up on this right side looking here. So those flashes will pop behind them, not blind them, but blinding all of the enemy team. Next up towards the A-bomb site, if the CTs are continuously going aggressive and pushing you out, something to push them off or push them back would be a simple flash off the ramp. This is going to stop any A aggression. Simply run up and flash off the ramp and peek with the flash. As you can see, it's going to pop somewhere right here. So any counter terrorists swinging in to peek will get full blind from that. Next up, if your team is doing an A execute and you just threw all your nades and molotovs from the scaffolding, anything off the far right of the building will do the trick. Again, it's the same concept as B site. If your teammate is running up here, or if your teammate is running up on the crane wall, Anything behind them and high will blind the enemy team, but not blind your teammates. As you can see, I'm not blind from that, and the enemies will be blind. So anywhere off this side of the building is going to do the trick for flashes. Finally, good flashes to know as a terrorist for mid, whether you want to pistol rush with your team or go with your team on a gun round, is anything through the skylight position. Simply run up and chuck a flash off the wall, and those flashes will bounce off the pallets, blinding anyone looking in that general area. Now if you want to take a slower approach and uh, not rush the mid, you can simply chuck flashes through the skylight like shown. Those will pop higher, 
blinding enemies deeper in CT. As you can see, they pop at a different position. So anyone holding back here will be blind from that. Or anyone holding here will be blind. And here will be blind. So two different approaches to mid flashes. But that's basically it for T side flashes on Vertigo. There's two major flashes you should know in mid as a CT. The first one is if you want to go aggressive and go for a push to maybe get your team a pick or get your team some information to help win the round. Simply look anywhere at the bottom of these pallets. It's going to be a run, jump throw, and you're gonna want you want to release before you hit the end of this wooden box. So it should look something like this. Again, does not have to be specific, super general, can be anything that looks like this. And as you can see, the flash will pop perfectly around the corner right here. So any terrorist uh, moving into mid will be full blind from that flash. And what that allows you to do is throw the flash and then go aggressive with it and get these frags early on in the round. And sometimes that's the game changer. That's what your team needs to win the round. The second flash in mid is to get yourself out of a pinch. People love playing this position, but sometimes it gets hard cleared, and there's not a lot of teammates to help you out on vertigo. So if you hear terrorists running around the corner, or you hear them taking mid, you can throw this flash from this position to get yourself out of a tight situation. Simply place your crosshair along this metal rod up to the ceiling, like shown, and left click throw. And what that's going to do is bounce off and pop right above the wooden box, blinding any terrorist looking in this general position. For the A bomb site, I'm just going to go over two flashes that are thrown from the most common positions. So one of the most common positions is catwalk, which is over here on the right. And if you are smoked off or you find yourself needing a pop flash, maybe to go for a couple of kills, simply turn around, find this metal like beam on the wall, run and jump throw a flash off that. Now you may be wondering, what is that going to do? Well, as you can see, this crane is not solid. There's actually a lot of gaps in the crane that can be seen through. So when the pop flash pops up there, anyone in this general position is going to be full blind. Because as you can see, they're not covered from that flashbang. The second flash you should know on A is if you are the jump up player. Again, this is a very common position for CTs to play. I'm sure most of you play this position or you have played this position before if you played Vertigo. Um, a lot of people don't remember that the crane is a solid object. You can actually bank stuff off of it. So if you need to peek and get a kill on the ramp before they execute the bomb site, instead of peeking dry, you can actually bounce flashes off that crane and they will pop above and then you can peek. As you can see, it pops about right there. And again, you can vary the height as you want, but anyone just out in the open right here is going to be full blind from those flashes. So basically, anything up in the sky or near the crane will do the trick. The B bomb site, any flashes that go up and towards the staircase are going to do the trick. You can blind all the T's holding the staircase. As you can see, it's gonna pop right here. Anyone holding the staircase will be blind from that and it'll allow you to peek. Again, there's no direct lineup for any of these flashes. Kind of just anything off the side of the building that won't blind you or your team. Finally, I'm going to go over nades for CT and only CT side. The reason being is there's not that many important nades for T and you can kind of just chuck them wherever. However, on CT, nades are extremely important for stopping aggression and for retaking on this map. I'll be showing a couple lineups for CT nades right now. First, over to the B-bomb site, just like that Molotov from earlier, except this time you're going to want to aim your crosshair just a little bit down into the left from the corner. So here is the corner, down into the left just a bit, and this one's going to be a tap run throw. So tap W and run throw that nade. The farther you run, the deeper the nade will land, stopping any kind of B-rush or slowing any kind of B-rush on the staircase. So as you can see, any terrorist trying to jump up on the staircase quickly is going to eat that nade and be slowed from it. Secondly, on the B-bomb site, come behind default and find this 5 on the wall. Go to the middle of the 5 and then move your crosshair to the left and run throw this grenade. What that's going to do is land behind the staircase at the barrel's position. So a lot of T's like camping here and looking for picks or they're setting up nades and smokes that I showed earlier. And that nade will absolutely dunk anyone trying to look for a pick or set up. The second to last nade on our list is over at the A bomb site. To stop any A aggression or if you hear the terrorists setting up on the scaffolding, simply jump on top of default and find where this metal beam meets the wood and left click throw a grenade. 
What that is going to do is, as you can see by the nade line, it's going to drop on the scaffolding and it's com going to completely dunk anyone setting up for a, a smoke execute or for anyone trying to rush this as a terrorist, they're going to eat that nade and be slowed by it. The final nade of this video is going to deny the most common plant spot for terrorists on the map. So the most common plant spot for terrorists is right here on the right side of this line as it gives you the best post plant situation and also most of the time catwalk and right side CT are smoked off. So for any terrorist planting the bomb here, something you can do even behind the smokes is throw this grenade. Simply come into the doorway, find this spot on the wall where the line is, the line meets the metal part of the wall, and run throw. And what that is going to do, as you can see, is the nade lands right here. So anyone planting the bomb is going to eat a 50 damage grenade. And if you have two teammates throw that back to back, it'll net you a free kill for the retake. So again, doorway, line, and metal part of the line, just metal part of the building, line, run throw. And again, that's, gonna, that's going to dunk the planter and make sure that he does not put the bomb down, or at least if he does put the bomb down, he dies afterwards. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. This took a ton of time and practice to make sure all these smokes and nades landed so that I could put them in a guide for everyone on YouTube. If you enjoyed or if these nades helped you out at all, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button, it really really helps me out. I will be back on the regular content grind, I hope you guys are ready for that and if you have any suggestions for my next video, please let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, I hope this guide helps you, I hope you use it in your matchmaking or in your pugging games, if you do, let me know. Anyways, I'm out, till next time. Peace!